Let's understand some basics about Git before proceeding ahead with the merge process. So the first part is that every branch in Git may have multiple commits. So as part of your work, you may have created multiple commits on a single branch. Second, each time you're creating a new commit, there is a commit object created in Git. Now with that commit object, there is a hash value which get associated. Let's see this in action. So this is my repo. And over here, uh, I am in the master branch. Let me show you the hash value for a commit. So there's a command git log. It shows all the previous logs. So the latest log would be displayed on the top. So it shows that this was the last commit object created with this hash value. So every time you create a new commit, there would be a new entry made in this log and that latest one would be shown on the top and it would have a hash value. Currently the hash value is this. So let me show you it in action. So let me copy this. If I place it here and let's create a new commit in the master branch itself. So over here, we'll do this. Let me make a change in this file. So this is the same project, selenium demo as state one. And over here I am in the master branch and uh, let me make some updates to it. Let me change the version here. So it says this, so I did this. Once you made the commit, it is showing me the hash value in a small format. Let us see what is the exact hash value we got. So let's run the command git log. You see at the top, we see this commit. So this is a new commit. Let me copy this and let me place it here. So earlier the hash value was this, which was this, the commit before that. And now the new commit is this, which is this, right? And the short form of it, which is till these five, six characters are shown on the screen when you're making the commit. So with every new commit, there's a new hash value generated and you can see that via the command git log. So the next thing is we need to understand is the header pointer. Now, as I said that a single branch can have multiple commits. So to keep the track of the latest commit on that particular branch, there's a concept of header pointer. So what happens is git maintains a head pointer for every branch, which points to the latest commit on that specific branch. So I'm discussing about this point. If you want to see practically, where is the head pointing to in a specific branch, what you'll have to do is you can go into this path. Here we want to check it for the master branch. So this is the path of the heads and we are interested in the master branch currently. So we have mentioned master here. Otherwise you can specify the branch name where you want to check. So let's check the master. So this is the head file within the master branch and it will have only one entry. And that one entry would be pointing to the hash value of the latest commit on that branch. So let's check. See, currently it has this entry, C42018, which is this, the, the latest commit we made on the master branch. Let me show you in the explorer also. This is the repo we had. And in this, we have a git target folder. We'll go into the refs. Over here we have heads and within heads, these are different branches we had and we were currently interested in the master branch. So we went into it and it has this entry, which we just showed. Let's check this. So this is exactly what we saw there, right? Now we will use all these concepts in understanding how the merge works. I hope you enjoyed the session today and would have learned something new. If you did, please subscribe the channel and do share the content with others as well.